ancient Egypt chose to divide the day into 24 hours. Why did they choose that number? One hypothesis is that they conceptualized and studied the dimensions before adopting that number. If you study the first dimension, you can find only three objects. The line, the line segment and the half line or ray. Thus, the number three is appropriate to symbolize the first dimension. In the second dimension, hexagons appear automatically if you press circles of the same size together. Thus, the number 6 is generated through the most simple of shapes, the circle. In nature, the hexagonal tessellation is available to any observers in the honeybee's honeycombs. A tessellation is a collection of figures that fills space with no overlaps and no gaps. In the third dimension, you can meet the rhombic dodecahedral honeycomb. It's a space-filling tessellation that is the densest possible packing of equal spheres in ordinary space. Each cell is made of 12 rhombus-shaped faces. In nature, honeybees use the geometry of rhombic dodecaedra to form honeycombs from a tessellation of cells, each of which is a hexagonal prism capped with half a rhombic dodecaedron. To symbolize time, it is now quite appealing to choose 24 to complete the series 3, 6, 12 generated by the first, second and third dimensions. If this were indeed the origin of our time division, we would now have new insight into the conceptual efforts of ancient Egypt to grasp time and the dimensions.